I'm Julia, the Cultural Programs Coordinator. And I'm Sara, the Student Services Office Assistant. And we are from the Student Services Office. Finally, welcome to Italy. Welcome, welcome to, to Rome. Rome. We are here today to help you find out more about your kitchen, which utensils are provided and the basic functioning of the cookware. A good diet will play a key role during your stay here and it's part of the wonderful experiences that you will enjoy while in Italy. So this EU will guide you from the very beginning of your stay to discover a little bit more about Italian food and Italian culinary tradition. Sara, you know what Hippocrates said? I have no idea. Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Alright, but if I'm not mistaken, it is also said beyond the great kitchen there is always a great chef. Okay, so, so let's start! So we're here with Daniele from the housing office. Ciao Daniele. Ciao. So what should we do if we have like maintenance or cleaning issues? So you should uh, direct all of your maintenance and cleaning uh, requests including Wi-Fi requests to the following site app.johncabot.edu on the site you will need to select the housing option you live in residence apartments or independent apartments by clicking on the maintenance request uh, form button under your residence option you will then fill in the required information once you have completed the form please click on the submit form button Please be informed that a member of our maintenance staff will visit your apartment as soon as possible in order to follow up on your request. Thank you so much, Daniele. What if we have an emergency, if something is broken or uh, you know, something else? So, in the case of an emergency in your apartment, and by emergency we mean a gas leak, a water leak, or any other emergency, uh, please contact the emergency phone number, which is 0039-331. 6561907 and uh, please remember that you can find this number on the back of your JCU ID card. Uh, with regards to the cleaning, instead, please remember that you are responsible for washing the dishes, cleaning your bedroom, and keeping the common areas in the apartment tidy. Of course, that sounds perfect. So, thank you so much, Daniele, and uh, hope to see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Okay guys, so it's time to explore the kitchen. Come on. Okay, so we are in the kitchen and I want to show you what you've got. So to start, um, we have a TV over here. We also have some pot handles and different uh, kitchen utensils, such as scissors, uh, a knife set and also a chopping board. You are going to use it a lot if you're cooking Italian recipes, trust me. You also have a microwave and inside here you have a napkin holder, a cheese grater, you have colander and also leads, pots uh, or pan leads. You have different uh, sizes of um, pans and pots. Then you also have the fridge over here and on this side you have dish set, you have different uh, mugs and water glasses and up here you will find some glass bowls, you're going to use them if you want to prepare a salad or if you want to put pasta in it. You also have cutlery here and also a water jug and you will also find a dish rack and here we also got an electric uh, water boiler. How does it work? It's very very easy, nothing threatening. So you want to put water inside. Till the maximum level. Close the lid. You put the electric water boiler in here. And that's it. You just want to press the button, and this is this is it, guys. To turn the gas on, flick the yellow knob on the right like this, so that you are ready to use the gas stove. How does it work? It's very easy. All you have to do is to push and turn the knob that corresponds to the burner you want to use. Once you see the flame, and after hearing the clicking sound, it means that the gas stove is ready for you to cook. 
Every time you finish cooking something, just remember to close the gas. One thing that you will be using a lot in your kitchen is the oven. This oven doesn't look so threatening, isn't it? So let's go over the instructions together. We got three different knobs. Every knob corresponds to a different function. The first one is the heating configuration. Then we got the temperature and then we got the timing. So the first thing I have to do is to select the heating configuration that you prefer. Then you select the temperature and then you select the timer. Remember, the oven will not preheat unless you uh, choose the right timing. Okay? So, uh, one important thing is always use the tray. Now we turn everything off. Remember to do this every time you finish cooking something. Always use the tray. Don't put plastic inside. And you can cover the tray using the baking paper or the aluminum foil. This is very important. 